Welcome to Quick Learn Office Hours, where Quick Learn training staff answers questions from students. I'm Rob Calloway. Today's question comes from Sergey. Sergey was in a class of mine last year. Uh, he sent this, uh, this question a, a little while back um, that we uh, ultimately found an answer for. Uh, he's asking uh, whether or not the behavior around the configuration of the, the host used by a dynamic send port is kind of a, a little bit of a bug. Basically what's happening is um, the, uh, the handler, the, the host that that send port is running at, isn't part of any binding file, so it keeps on resetting itself to the default host, making uh, kind of a, a nuisance for Sergey and his team. Basically, the heart of the problem for Sergey was that the send handler for the dynamic send port um, isn't part of the binding file, and therefore he needs to reconfigure it uh, to his preferred handler whenever he goes through a deployment operation. Let's start by verifying Sergey's problem. Uh, here I've got a, an application named Dynamic Send. Inside there I have a Dynamic Send port, the physical port. If we look inside, we can see our send handler for the SMTP adapter is configured to this special SMTP handler that I've created. We do have BizTalk Server application as an option there, the, the default host. Um, but I want you to imagine, I've come in here, I've made this configuration change. And uh, one of Sergey's uh, questions was whether or not it was a bug, the fact that when he exports this to a binding file, uh, the, none of that send handler configuration is actually there. Now, I uh, had previously exported this to a binding file. If we look at that binding file inside Visual Studio, here we've got our send port collection. Right? We have our dynamic send port in there. If I just do a quick find for handler, we see in, across the entire binding file, in my receive port, there's a section for the receive handler. Right? But up in that send port, now no handler at all. Right? We go through it's two instances, both in the receive. So the, the preferred handler for that SMTP adapter is not captured in this binding file in any way, shape, or form. What that means is that if we were going to do a new deployment or we had a deployment that, uh, that utilized that binding file to create this physical port, uh, we're not going to have the appropriate, uh, uh, the appropriate handler. If I, for example, delete this, we'll pretend like it's a brand new, fresh deployment to a new environment. When I go over and I uh, deploy using Visual Studio as an example, although you know MSI package or uh, some other deployment operation scripts or whatever, would uh, ultimately end up doing the same thing. When I look in my send port, that handler has now reset itself to the BizTalk server application handler. If you remember previously, before we wiped it out and recreated it, we had our SMTP. Right. And whether I used, uh, like in my case, Visual Studio for that deployment or some script for that deployment, the real problem here is that that adapter handler setting is not being captured inside the binding file and therefore cannot be uh, enforced at the time that I run my deployment. So after thinking about Sergey's problem for a little bit, the solution that I presented to him was that he changed the default handler for the adapter. You can do this simply by going into the uh, adapter section in the platform settings area of the uh, BizTalk Server Administration Console. Um, in that uh, adapter in question, in our case we'll do the SMTP adapter, uh, there's a checkbox that you can use to set the default handler for the adapter. So what does setting the default handler for a given adapter actually look like? Well, uh, if we go to the platform settings section, we've got our adapters in there. I'll do the SMTP adapter. Um, and I already have the handler created. Um, however, that SMTP host is not currently set as the default. And there's actually a little black 
checkbox or check mark on the uh, icon for whatever host is the default handler. So we can see BizTalk server application is the default. If we just go into the properties here, I can say make this the default handler. I'll need to restart my host instances for that change to take effect, so may as well pop right on over here and restart these guys. Now, uh, changing that default handler, that's not going to impact whatever configuration I currently have. If I come in here, see, I had not saved the change to the SMTP handler previously. So we're still stuck on that uh, BizTalk server application um, uh, host that it was utilizing before. But now if we wipe out this application once more, and then I run my deployment operation, again, I'm just using Visual Studio to keep it simple. Our physical send port is now utilizing the SMTP host <clears throat> for the SMTP adapter. We've uh, essentially convinced BizTalk to naturally use that handler for the SMTP adapter within our dynamic send port. Now, uh, you know, part of Sergey's question was whether or not this was a bug. You know, the reality is I don't think this is a, really a bug. Um, maybe somebody at Microsoft had thought about this and um, made the choice to have it behave this way. But uh, I think that's unlikely. I think what's more likely is this is kind of a, a holdover of the way dynamic send ports used to work. Uh, before BizTalk Server uh, 2013, where they introduced the option to reconfigure the handler for a given adapter uh, within the dynamic send port, like we're seeing right here, this, this dialog was new. Um, in, the, in the earlier days of BizTalk Server, the way that the dynamic send port identified which handler to use was simply through the default handler option. Every time a dynamic send port executed adapter X, it utilized whatever handler was the default for adapter X. That's just the way that it always worked, and there was never a way for us to choose what handler we wanted to use, at least not until BizTalk Server 20. Dialogue that we're seeing right here. I hope this video has increased your understanding. If you want to learn more about BizTalk Server, please check out our other Quick Learn Office Hour videos or come to one of our instructor led courses. I promise that'll be a great time. For now, I'm Rob Calloway and I'll see you next time on Quick Learn Office Hour.